Paris, summer of 1929, the site of what would be the greatest boxing match in literary history. Ernest Hemingway loved to box. He was always punching someone. About the only person he didn't box was the near-blind James Joyce. But in that summer of 1929, Ernest Hemingway would meet his match, Canada's own Morley Callahan. The two had boxed before, but this would prove to be the big event. Hemingway scheduled the fight for 5 o'clock at the American Club. However, that day, he and F. Scott Fitzgerald ate a heavy lunch. Worried he'd be too groggy by 5, Hemingway and F. Scott asked Callahan if he would agree to box at 4 o'clock. He did so, and the match was on. Ernest Hemingway versus Morley Callahan with F. Scott Fitzgerald as the timekeeper. Hemingway and Callahan agreed to three-minute rounds with a one-minute rest in between. In the first round, Callahan cut Hemingway on the lip, causing it to bleed profusely. In round two, Callahan continued to pound on Hemingway's face. Hemingway was getting annoyed and started to move in more and more aggressively. Then, Callahan landed a punch that caught Hemingway off guard and sent him sprawling back on the canvas. When Fitzgerald looked at his watch, he was horrified. He'd let the round go too long. Hemingway was furious and stormed off to the showers. Fitzgerald was embarrassed. Callahan won the fight. Months later, adding insult to injury, the Denver Post and the New York Herald Tribune ran stories saying that Hemingway was knocked out cold by Callahan in one round. A correction by Callahan appeared three weeks later. Nevertheless, that boxing match ended up being the event that forever distanced Ernest Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald, and Morley Callahan. <laughs>